Hello guys, uh, welcome back to our channel again, Filipino British couple. And for today's video, guys, uh, we're gonna bake banana bread. It's pretty and good. And Chef Emma will uh, show you everything because you know I don't know this one, but <laughs> she will uh, show you how to do it. This one, guys, I will just help. Okay. Okay. So I saw this recipe on Facebook, and um, it's from one of the famous chefs on P and O cruises, Eric Lanyard. Eric Lannard, I can never say his Eric, name properly, he's a Eric French Lannard. chef, thank you babe. And um, this was his recipe for banana bread, almost, without the walnuts, because we're not a walnut fan in this house. And um, Jay says he's going to ask me questions while we're baking, so he's going to interview me, so. Yeah. Alright, so we have our ingredients, as we said, we're making banana bread by Eric Lan Lannard? Lanyard? Eric Lanyard. Lanyard. <laughs> Um, and these are our ingredients. I'm going to keep glancing at my phone because I'm only just learning the recipe. So we have 140 grams of what should be unsalted butter. You bought unsalted? Yeah, that's unsalted. <laughs> okay. We have the brown sugar, which is 140 grams. You can use brown sugar or you can use white caster sugar. It depends on what flavor you want. Brown sugar gives it that bit more of a nutty taste. So we'll go for that. It's really yummy. We're going to use two eggs, free range, of course, and we're going to use, we need baking powder, which we'll just need like one table, one teaspoon from, and then we're not doing the walnuts and we're getting the overripe bananas, which Jay has already mashed for me real good and proper. <laughs> Credit to Jay, so I don't have to get my hands very messy. And of course we have the flour because what's the cake without flour? And this, if I remember correctly, is self-raising flour. So, off we go. So, let's make sure that Jay measured the ingredients correctly. So, the first thing we need to do is add the butter and the sugar is to be creamed together. Using this whisk, which is brand new, we haven't used it before, so watchers have teething problems on the camera, I'm sure. I'm probably going to let Jay do that part, <laughs> so I can blame him if it goes wrong. And all right, so let's check. So 140 grams of sugar, butter, even. So let's get the scales. Okay, the French like their butter, so that's why it's 140 grams. So uh, 25, 50, 75, 100. I actually don't think that is right. 25, 50, 75, 100, 120, yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's fine, so I'm gonna trust him for everything else. So we have the butter going into the bowl. I'm gonna get this out of the way because I'm trusting my husband. And we're gonna use, so we have the butter, we're gonna get the sugar, In there and now we need to whisk it together so all right guys i'm gonna ask uh eva q a q a questions while she was doing this one uh q a questions <laughs> this is any yeah. other type q a questions guys uh eva how do you how do you how do you find marrying a filipino man biggest mistake of my life <laughs> <laughs> now it's um sorry i'm it's not a bad thing, I'm just trying to concentrate. Hang on. Whisk the eggs together before adding it into the mixture. Add the eggs to the mixture gradually. Okay, so we do half of this. All right, so marrying a Filipino man. I'm not so caught up on are you Filipino, are you British? Like, that's a very Filipino thing. The how has been Filipino, how has been Filipino? Like, you're just a person to me, like you're just a man. You're a man I'm married. He's not a Filipino man. He is, but that it doesn't matter. He's the person I fell in love with. But I think the differences are you're probably a lot more friendly and supportive to my family. You know, he still is, but I mean, in the very beginning, than an English person probably would have been. And you probably help out a lot more around the house than an English person would. 
But other than that, it's the same, but I get to go to the Philippines every now and then, so perfect. So, okay. Uh, you've been in the Philippines twice, so... I have. Which uh, uh, part of the Philippines that you love the most? Palawan. 100% Palawan. It's where we got engaged. I'm really surprised because I thought you were going to say Barakay. No, Barakay was lovely, but not, I think nothing can compare to Palawan. It was gorgeous. It was stunning. It's where we got engaged, so it's always going to be magical. And nothing can top that. And the islands were beautiful, the people were so friendly. But right now when I still got there, it was still kind of recovering. So the beach was gorgeous, the sunset was magical and insane. And I had still one of the best holidays. It's probably like the second best holiday. <laughs> but yeah. Palawan... She loves Palawan be because uh, Palawan is more nature. And it's a lot of islands, so that's why she chose uh, Palawan. But for me... I like Boracay, I think, because I love the, you know, the long, the, the white beach, it's really good. Oh, that's really good now, it looks yeah. nice now. Good quality. So, for the next step, we need to mash your bananas together, which you have nearly already done so nicely. That's so a banana. just do that a bit more. I said banana. Yeah. <laughs> I said this is a banana, you went, that's a banana. <laughs> Um, okay, so mash the banana together, add in a few teaspoons of vanilla extract. Vanilla extract is like oh, my favourite thing from baking. It makes everything better, but it's nearly all gone. So we just have enough for this cake, I think. How many tablespoons? A couple, so as many as you want really, like two, but you wouldn't want to use more than three. Let's use two and a half. I think that's okay. So put this here, this here, we'll clean this up in a minute. So I'm gonna just finish and mash these so bananas so it's not so lumpy. What you're doing that one, I'm gonna, gonna put butter a little bit on the, on the pan. Thank you. Any other questions? Uh, how many how many boyfriends you had before? 250. <laughs> That's a lot. Yeah. But you were 251, so. I have uh, 300 girlfriends. No, I actually I'm haven't joking. had many boyfriends. I've had lots of disastrous dating disasters, but actual boyfriends? You were number three? Huh? Move, stop moving the papers in the oh, Sorry, guys. <laughs> You were number three, actual, real, official boyfriends, not just dating. You were number three. I think you have like, uh, only one, and I'm the second. No, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. Sorry, pal. Sorry, Jay. You don't have a questions for me? No, you said you're going to ask me the questions, so obviously I haven't prepared any because this is meant to be questions with Emma. If you're not uh, marrying me, if you're not married to me, where are you now? Where are you today? On Tinder. <laughs> Having more dated, dating disasters, I would have probably stayed on board, traveling some more of the world. And working the cruise, you, you love working yeah. the cruise? It's not the cruise I liked, because I get seasick. Yeah, you are. It's not the cruise I liked, because um, I get very seasick, but traveling the world was really cool. Getting paid to travel is like the dream, it's the goal. And even if it was for like a total of like nine weeks, like I'm so happy I can tick that off my bucket list and say I've been paid to travel. It makes me grow so much as a person, traveling, so and brought me to you so yeah i would be traveling and um probably on tinder and having more dating disasters maybe if i'm not marrying you maybe i'm still i'm still working on the cruise ship right now <laughs> saving a lot of money 
<laughs> okay, so we need one teaspoon baking soda. I'm just checking this is teaspoon. Yeah. So I can find it. I was going to say I find it hard to open this, but I did it okay. So one level teaspoon. And it goes straight into the flour. These are great, by the way. I bought these from Amazon for like six pounds and everything's measured out. Cups, teaspoons, easy. And I feel professional when I'm clearly not. <laughs> okay. So let's mix this together still. Any more questions, Ben? Uh, actually. I couldn't think about more questions thing because I'm really excited with the with the banana bread. So you just mix three quarters of the mixture into it so you can make sure that the consistency is okay. So we've got the butter, the sugar, we've got the eggs. I make such a mess when I bake. Jay has to clean everything afterwards because he gets crazy and can't leave it for two minutes. But I'm mixing this. Does he want to do this part? Is he cleaner than me? Otherwise, half the ingredients goes all over the table for me. Mix this one. Make it really mix very well. Everything's pink in this house. <laughs> Poor Jay. Pink tools, love heart balls. It's pretty in here, yeah? It's designed for you. <laughs> pink tea towels. The light. And it's Disney. But I got my happily ever after, so that's why I like Disney. Okay, so now we're going to add in the bananas and um, combine it until it's glossy, so it's gonna be good. All right, so for this one, you wanna give it a little bit of a mix, but then it's important to fold. So let's get the bananas in. So I give it a gentle mix, and then move on to the folding tool. It's clearly not its official name. And you just want to fold it over like you're folding over a t-shirt. Just fold, don't mix. I'm not sure what happens to it if you do, but you do get a different consistency because we've tried it. So it's much better to just fold it over. I think it locks in more of the flavor. I think if you mix it too much, the flavor somehow kind of gets lost in the mixture and somehow kind of absorbs into it and disappears. So I think that's why it's best to fold it over. Okay. So now we're gonna do in the cake and pour it in. So can you help push it down? So it's all, all done, yeah? yeah. Okay, so that's like the hardest part of banana bread is lining the tin and getting the grease proof grease proof paper to stick to the tins the side yeah okay so you want to get the cake tin three quarters of the way full. You don't want to do it to the top because your cake is gonna rise. So you need to flatten it out and smooth it over to the edges. So some people put walnuts on top of this. Some people actually put a normal non-ripe banana on top of this. So 
give it extra flavor. Um, Eric, his recipe, manages to get that banana to stay on the top, but whenever I do it, it sinks inside and it causes this smush of a banana explosion. So we're not gonna do that this time. And this is the first time I've not done that. So I'm hoping this will turn out okay. So I'm just gonna show you guys on the camera. So it should be like this. So three quarters of the way full. And it's ready to go in the oven. So you pop it in the oven for about 35 minutes. Just gonna push this back. Pop it in the oven for about 30, 35 minutes. And then, what do you wait? Alexa, set an alarm for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, starting the alarm. We're only gonna do it for 30 minutes in our oven because our oven, you always need to do things five minutes less. And we have a cake tester as well, somewhere in here, so you know it's done. So you stick this in your cake, it's the official cake tester. If it comes out clean, your cake is cooked. If it comes out like this, crumbs on there, then it isn't cooked. So this is what it looks like. And then, yeah, we're ready. Hopefully it's good. We just let pray to the food gods. So yeah, guys, after 35 minutes of uh, baking in the oven, so yeah, luto na siya guys, oh. Ito siya, oh. So, ayun, tikman ko na ngayon. Sarap. So guys, kung gusto naman yung gusto mag-bake mag ng banana bread, sundin nyo itong recipe na ito ni, ni Ima kasi ilagay ko ito sa video mamaya para makita nyo yung actual recipe talaga. Kasi sa video, hindi nyo naman makikita masyado. So, ilagay ko yung putos dun sa video sa taas. Kikita lahat dun yung ano, recipe. Sarap. Saktong-sakto lang. Hmm. Tamang tama. Hindi siya dry. Hindi rin siya, ano, hindi rin siya basa. Sakto. Tamang tama lang talaga. Pagpasensya nyo na pala si, si Ima nandun. Ayaw, ayaw magpakita pag kumakain, nahihiya. So, nandun siya. Ako dito. Ishi, gusto ko lang kasi i-share sa inyo kung masarap ba o hindi. So yun, masarap siya guys. Kung gusto, kung gusto nyo talagang gumawa nito, sundin nyo itong recipe na to guys. And guys, uh, if you have any comments or suggestions about Q&A, just comment down below lang. And magagawa kami ng video sa lahat ng mga magko-comment o magtatanong sa about re relationship namin, sa relasyon namin ni Ema. Just comment down below and gagawa namin ng video at sasagutin namin lahat yon. So bago ko tapusin yung, ano, yung videos, pasalamat muna ako sa mga lahat ng subscriber na nanood sa amin na 300 na ngayon. Road to 1,000 subscriber na tayo. Sana continue nyo lang support nyo sa amin. And maraming salamat talaga and ingat kayo lagi sa atin lalo na sa Pilipinas. And God bless us all. Bye guys!